So if you clicked on this video, you're probably looking for a cheap but good quality lavalier microphone or lapel microphone. We're gonna be checking out the Purple Panda microphone. I know it sounds a little weird, but let's check into it coming up next. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys, it's Diana here with Entre Woman, helping you transition your passion into the business that you love. And on this video, we're actually going to be doing a quick review of the lapel mac microphone that you're listening to right now called the Purple Panda. Now this microphone wasn't sent to me, the company doesn't even know I'm doing this review, but I recently came across another review of this microphone and decided to check it out for myself. So I've done one video uh, on this microphone already and I'm curious how good the audio is compared to some other uh, low cost and budget microphones. But the purpose of doing this test video is just to basically, whether you're recording on your cell phone, a DSLR camera or anything else, will this actually get the job done? Of course it will, that's an easy answer. Uh, sorry to burst the bubble, but yeah, it will, but how well of a job will it do? So let's take a look into what comes in the box. So in the box, you'll actually get a plethora of accessories. You'll get accessories that allow you to connect from the tip ring ring sleeve or TRRS or the TRS tip ring sleeve. And the difference is where you see the TRRS with the way that the cable comes, it doesn't have a battery or anything like that, but this will actually allow you to hook directly into your smartphone, doesn't matter if you have an iPhone, an Android, or what have you. It also has connections so that you can hook into a GoPro. Uh, also has this different connector cord, which would allow me to connect to my DSLR camera as well as other camcorders and things like that that require that TRS uh, tip of the microphone uh, for the cable. Now, this doesn't come, like most microphones, they do not come with all of these different accessories. So the fact that this one does definitely makes it, just for the accessories alone, definitely makes it all the worthwhile. So the fact that you can actually take this cord that otherwise, just the price of this whole kit by itself is what it would cost or maybe a little bit more to actually buy the converter cord for TRRS to TRS, which is basically uh, the adapter that allows you to take a microphone uh, tip, which would go into your cell phone, into your camcorder and be able to use it that way it's actually the same price as just that cord or adapter by itself. And the fact that I'm able to actually use this actual whole setup just for less than 20 bucks is a super, super deal. It's quite the steal over on Amazon. So now that we've got a chance to actually listen to the microphone, let's compare it to some other audio sources just to kind of see how well does it match up to just the regular audio that's coming from the camera on a cell phone. You've already heard again what it sounds like on a DSLR. And then let's just see how well it compares up with some other cameras. So let's check it out. Okay, so this is the audio that you would get just directly from the Canon T5i. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of DSLR camera that you have. They're pretty well known for having terrible, terrible microphones that's just built into the camera. What these are good for is just maybe if you're using an external audio source that you need to link up in post-production so that you can get the great audio quality. If you don't have, let's say, a connector to hook into the camera and you're recording on your phone, for example, then that's all that this is good for. It's just to really link it up. So let's compare it to actually using the Boya BY-M1. Okay, so now I'm mic'd up for the Boya BY-M1 microphone. And so now you can kind of get an, an, an idea of what the difference is. Now I haven't changed any of the internal preamp settings when it comes to actually uh, just recording on the camera. I'm actually still using the same setup. So if one is louder than the other, this is exactly the exact same settings that I have on the Canon T5i, but this is the Boya BY-M1. Okay, what you're now listening to is the Purple Panda just recorded straight out of my cell phone recorder, just the built-in application that's already on the phone. So you listen to the Purple Panda microphone on the audio recorder on my phone. If you notice and you're curious why I'm a little bit closer to you, it's because I'm using the Rode Video Mic Me. Now this is a microphone that's only supposed to be used for smartphones, for Android, as well as for Apple devices. However, with the TRS to TRRS or whatever, whichever way it is, the, that connector allows you to connect this Rode VideoMic Me to the actual 
DSLR. And to show you how I have that hooked up, I'm going to go ahead and grab my cell phone so I can switch the camera around. Okay, so now I'm on my cell phone, so let's take a look at how I actually have this hooked in. So on Canon, the microphone jacks are usually right there. And so this cord is basically just going straight up into there. And even though this is a touch screen, then I'm using the back there just for that little bit of space. And that's as thick as probably a cell phone would be. And I'm actually able to just use that space just to go ahead and make sure that it's not pressing anything when I'm actually recording. So it actually is working pretty well as far as uh, just making sure that I can actually hook in there without any problems. So that's actually a pretty neat feature. And again, this little kit is just jam packed full of little gems. And this one was by far my favorite. Once I found out that it's had this same device that I was going to use for the, even for the, um, the Rode Smart Lab Plus, that one is a, a lavalier microphone that's only for smartphone devices. And you would need that special cable. The one that I'm using right now to use this particular mic me, video mic me, is so that you can actually connect it to devices that it wasn't originally intended to use. I remember when I bought the Rode Smart Lab Plus, tried to hook it up to this camera, it didn't work. You need the connector. So this little gem definitely makes this kit completely worth it. Okay, so I talked about all of these great things. So I'm guessing you're wondering what is wrong with this thing. It's gotta be a catch, it has to be something. The only thing I found wrong with this microphone thus far is that the clip broke. Just trying to switch it so that I can hook it the way that I have it uh, placed right now is that it's a plastic clip. Part of it's metal, metal part of it is plastic. And just trying to just evenly separate it without using too much force, it broke. And so even though it broke, those clips come a dime a dozen. And I mean, you get what you pay for when you're talking about using cheap budget gear. However, that's a small price to pay when you talk about all the other accessories that you get. And sometimes when you're getting cheap microphones or you're getting cheap devices, cables, or anything like that, it's a very, very plasticky cord. This cord doesn't feel as cheap, even though it's a nice, uh, cheap microphone or affordable microphone, it doesn't feel super cheap as far as the cable as if, you know, a little heat gets to it or you leave it in the car for a second to go in the store, then, you know, it'll come back and it'll be a little crackly. I'm sure over time it will wear, but the microphone seems very solid. I actually like it. And to pay for another clip, I'm actually just using one from the Boyer right now just to work uh, on this microphone. They fit perfectly. Uh, I mean, I can get another one off Amazon for a couple bucks. So definitely worth the price to me. Hey, thanks for checking out today's video. Hopefully that you enjoyed it. And I'm curious, are you looking to buy or pick up the Purple Panda microphone? Or maybe you're looking at some other kind of budget microphone. Let me know and start the conversation down in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the basics to starting a business free video guide. It used to be an e-guide, now it's upgraded to a video guide. Actually gonna be walking you through some of the basic startup steps as well as the mistakes that most startups tend to make when they're setting up their business. Whether it's trying to figure out how to really set up a YouTube page and really do it right. And what kind of entity maybe should you form? What should you call it? And all those simple questions that we tend to ask ourselves when we're coming up with creating a business. So check out the guide down below and I'll link that up in the YouTube card as well. But other than that, guys, take care. And as always, my friends, live with passion. I'll see you on the next video.